If you're looking to create a tranquil, inviting and elegant nursery, then a fresh lick of paint in the right shades and tones could be the answer. There's certainly nothing more exciting than planning the nursery for your newborn. And this is the perfect play field. Today we're going to inspire with colour and texture and empower you to create something that is sophisticated, beautiful and in the perfect tones to both stimulate and calm your newborn. Different stencil designs were done on these drawers. Due to the fact that our stencil technique is very subtle, you can actually do various designs on these drawers. The colours flow beautifully together. And this furniture piece previously was a dark stained wood furniture piece. And look how we've brought it to life, adding colour and light to it. On this chest of drawers, the following colours we use from top to bottom. Dawn's Wash is the warm grey colour, the coral pink colour is called reddish mellow, the cream colour is Lorraine's cream, the sage green is Dumisa's dream, and then we've repeated Dawn's Wash right at the bottom. So as you can see, the top drawer hasn't been completed yet. I'm now going to show you how it's done. First remove any hardware before the fun painting starts. So I would always make sure that my surface is clean and grease-free before I start applying my paint. Seeing that this was a dark wood surface, we've cleaned it properly with lacquer thinners, waited for the thinners to dry more or less 20 minutes, and then we've applied our first coat in cloud white. Waited for the cloud white to dry, and now I'm going to start my stencil work onto the surface. First, I'm going to apply my masking tape to make sure that the stencil of Paris doesn't sit on this border. I'm going to select my stencil. It's a beautiful Moroccan theme, although we're doing a nursery, we can be adventurous. I'm going to secure my stencil with some masking tape, make sure it doesn't move while I'm busy working. I'm using stencil of Paris, a paint scraper, Secure my stencil with my free hand and I spread the paste onto my surface. Now as you can see my stencil can't fill the entire drawer but the pattern has a pattern repeat. So I'll be showing you how to do that. I'll be removing my stencil while the paste is still wet and then I'm going to open that hole where my hardware needs to sit just with my screw. I'm going to just continue. So make sure it's lined up correctly. There's no place now, seeing that this is still wet, to secure it with masking tape. So I'll be holding it in position with my free hand. I'm now done with this section. I'm going to remove the stencil. I'm also going to remove the masking tape. And now I'm going to wait for the stencil paste to dry. Depending on the thickness of the application and the weather, this will take anything from two to three hours. Okay, we're now ready for our painting. The color that I've selected is a beautiful soft pink that will suit perfectly and go with a vinyl on the wall. Before I start painting, just apply masking tape on all the cut lines to protect the inside of the drawer. Always make sure that you use a clean paint brush with soft bristles. So for this technique, I'll only be applying my one coat of Sweetness, which is a beautiful soft pink that works with the rest of the space. Choco is an eco-friendly, non-toxic product. So it can be used in your nursery. It's safe and it's a lovely, user-friendly product to work with. So I have a damp cloth folded like a ball in the palm of my hand. 
and I'm now going to apply the Color Law Rain Screen with my paintbrush. So I spread the paint evenly into my cloth, fold it comfortably like a ball in the palm of my hand, press it flat with my free hand so that it can touch the top edges of my stencil work. And now very gently, I'm going to move in circular movements onto my stenciled and painted surface. And this is a very even, soft movement. Okay, so next, I fold my cloth to a cleaner section. Use cloud white. This is just a lighter tone. Make sure it's evenly spread into my cloth. And I continue the washed technique. So once the washing is done, we can immediately start sanding because it's such a thin layer of paint, it dries instantly. The piece of sandpaper we'll be using is an 80 grit piece and I'm just going to distress the surface again. So my sanding is done. Next, I'll put my hardware back and put this drawer back in its place. Now doesn't this just look beautiful? The colours just flow and work with a vinyl peony at the back. Just to think that all this furniture previously were dark wood pieces of furniture and just to see how paint has transformed this space. The colours just work beautifully together. The whites with the warm greys complement any other colour scheme. The wall colour used on the wall is vineyard stone, which is a warm grey that just blends with the rest of the room. Now this corner of the nursery really creates a calmness to both mother and baby. The furniture pieces work together due to the colour scheme that was selected. Neutrals and warm greys, and then also a splash of colour on the focal wall, which is a dark indigo blue the repetition of the stencil technique on various pieces of furniture used in this nursery makes all the furniture pieces flow and work together well. So to add extra protection on your furniture, you can make use of the clear glaze, which is a sealant that we apply four hours after the paintwork has been completed. This will make the surface more stain resistant and also more washable. Please share your creations on our new website under the Joko Creations tab. Stay inspired!